Hey folks, JD here, and today I thought I'd make a little video on how to unlock these particular motors and how to get this up in the air because there is a little bit of a sequence that you have to do sometimes with some quadcopters is to hold the analog sticks out at a certain angle and the motors will unlock and then you have I think five or ten seconds in order to lift the quadcopter up before the motors automatically lock again with this it's a little bit different and it's certainly something that I didn't expect to do so what I'm going to do first is just pop some batteries in this transmitter so I'm just going to pop those in and then I'm just going to close that now okay so there we go that adds a bit of weight to that as well okay so now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to turn on the transmitter first normally with a lot of these videos you see I turn on the quadcopter first step away then turn on the transmitter and then bind with this it's totally different what I'm going to do here is purely for demonstration purposes only I am going to kick up these motors I'm not going to fly her but it is going to go into an idle state when this happens this it's very dangerous to approach quadcopters like this so what I will say is once you do that step away and don't go back until the motor's off and you've locked the motors back. So what I'm going to do first is we've got to press and hold on the lock button and then turn the transmitter on. Right? Now we can plug in the quadcopter and don't worry, it's all perfectly safe at this point. There we go. Now we will have red flashing lights at the back and then once the transmitter light is totally green and solid and the red lights on the back of the quadcopter have turned off you can then take your finger off the lock button now the quadcopter is unlocked so now what we can do is push the lock button again and the motors step up in order to stop this at this point it's not safe to return to this quadcopter but now when you want to make it safe push and hold the lock button again and then you'll notice the quadcopter blades will turn off and more to the point the red lights on the back will stop as well so therefore the quadcopter is now locked you can turn off the transmitter and then that beep from the quadcopter is just to let you know that the quadcopter has lost a transmitter it can't find it at all so therefore you'll have that very annoying beep but then you can just unplug the quadcopter like that and that is it it's as simple as that how to lock and unlock the quadcopter so let's do it again so what you do first is you'd hold on the lock turn on the, quad the transmitter and then plug in the quadcopter quite tricky but there we go and now you'll see the red LED is still flashing when that finishes you can take your finger off the lock button and then all you can do then is to start up the quadcopter push the lock button and she's whirring in an idle state ready to go and then click and hold the lock button again and that's it the quadcopter is now locked again um, and you can return to it and that's it now the quadcopter's off and then all you can do is just knock off the transmitter and then unplug the quadcopter and that is it you are ready to go so that's it so i hope this has been of some help to you folks thanks ever so much for watching i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends Happy flying.